So what will admin access do for you? You'll get improved internet speeds depending on your location. So in this video, I'll show you the different ways on how to gain admin access and the different speeds that you'll get with the different settings. So there are different ways to uh, gain admin access to your prepaid Wi-Fi. So first is to buy a modem that already has uh, admin access, just like what I did before. Second is you can pay someone to do it remotely for you. And then third is to do it yourself. As I mentioned in my previous video, I bought an S10G modem, a uh, Globe prepaid Wi-Fi uh, that already has admin access. Uh, a lot of sellers are selling different modems already with admin access and sometimes even uh, open line modems meaning you can use that modem either with a globe sim card or a pldt smart sim card but if you already have an existing uh, modem and you want admin access you can just search on facebook your specific model and uh, you'll see a lot of offers for uh, admin access uh, prices would range from uh, donations wherein uh, you would you would decide uh, how much to pay or uh, you could also have fixed rates ranging from 200 to 300 pesos per admin access so for my globe cat 7 modem uh, i just messaged someone from facebook transferred uh, via gcash and in just a few minutes i already have the admin password for to gain admin access on my globe cat 7 modem Another method to gain admin access is easy or hard, depending on your model. Uh, for the S10 mod, S10G model that I have, and on also uh, Globe Extreme Wi-Fi modems, this technique should work. So for other, other modems, you can just search for instructions on Google or YouTube, but chances are you'll have difficulty finding tutorials, and if you do, sometimes it would lead you to uh, paid services. So for the S10G, what you do is just log in using the uh, default username and uh, password okay so you'll see different settings there but if you do not have admin access then if you click on the router settings you'll only see DHCP so what you do is uh, just click on that uh, bottom the DHCP button and then on your address bar you'll see a hashtag with a router setting on it what you do is just change it to frequency okay once you change it to frequency you'll now have access to different bands so for this modem we have band 3 band 28 band 40 and band 41 so what you do is to just check one all right so just check one of the bands to check which one uh, would be fastest in your area okay so let's uh, check the band 3 first Okay, so for band 3, we get 16.14 uh, uh, Mbps for download and then 2.96 for upload. So let's now check uh, band 28. Let's just wait for the network to refresh. So with band 28, we get 11.67 Mbps and upload speed, uh, which is definitely better than uh, the band 3 upload speed at 13.9. Uh, so now let's check uh, band 40. So 
So by clicking band 40, I also noticed that uh, the signal strength uh, was reduced uh, from four bars to a single bar. Okay, so now let's uh, check the speed. So the speed is 0.37 uh, for download and 0 0.04 for upload. So if not for admin access, uh, sometimes uh, your modems would uh, automatically assign band 40. So you'll get this type of speeds. Okay, last but not the least would be uh, band 41. So for band 41, we have 5.9, download and 0.48. Okay. So I could choose band 3 for higher download speeds, but uh, for uh, what I do, which is uh, uploading videos on YouTube and uh, some video conferencing, uh, I think the, the best balance for me would be band 28. So there you have it. I hope this helps you in your quest for uh, faster internet speeds. So please uh, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to The Misadventures of Ronnie G. So thank you for watching and uh, stay safe.